the, the weather changes very quickly. The last time I was here was in August, and it was the opposite. It was beautiful in Jerusalem and uh, very hot <laughs> as you got further down. So that's one thing that's, that's very unique. Another is simply the fact of the monastery, the communities that come here, the people, one wonders what drove them into the wilderness into the first place and into living in caves. Uh, Mar Saba, Saint Saba, apparently started in a cave over there and was living there. And that cave and one person living there turns into a community and eventually turns into a very large monastery that people are coming to visit. And uh, I'm visiting, but there are still people that live here and visit not only his original cave every day, uh, but live here and pray here in the community of monks and priests that are here is a really unique 